ओके साईं प्रकाश सो ओके यस ओके सो फॉर व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर अप्लाइंग सर आई एम अप्लाइंग फॉर एचपीसीएल आई हैव क्लियर द रिटर्न इंटरव्यू रिटर्न टेस्ट एंड आई एम अपीयरिंग फॉर इंटरव्यू ओके व्हाट वाज द वे यू आर गिविंग द स्नैप टुडे yes yes I, i would like to give it on uh, power systems mainly because i have done my masters in that okay good yes. <clears throat> okay uh, when we compare the transmitting system with the ac and the dp yes sir. the hvdc comes in the picture right yes yes sir So, what are the disadvantage of the HVDC system? Sir, coming to the disadvantage of the HVDC systems, uh, for the sir, if the distance of the transmission line is less, then the HVDC system becomes more costlier, and the mm-hmm. conversion equipment that is required for HVDC system, it is a bit costly. Hello. Okay. and uh, sir uh, we have to use some power electronic converters in the hvdc system so it might induce some harmonics in the system hmm that's it okay uh, how this or any role about the charging current charging current uh, i think it will be uh, almost uh, negligible in both the cases so <clears throat> why the charging current is negligible because uh, it plays the major role like in the underground cable they, they because of this charging current uh, yes. it has the limitation in the underground cable transmission system okay. so why there is less charging current in case of hvd system Sorry, sir. I have no idea about this. Okay. Okay. What are the type of the? What are the type of HVDC system? Sir, uh, HVDC system. Uh, there are like a uh, homopolar, uh, bipolar systems. Hmm. Homopolar, monopolar, <coughs> and, uh, and bipolar. Bi- bipolar. Yes. Hmm. So, in case of bipolar sure. or homopolar, uh, what is the return path? Uh, in that case, it will be the ground, sir. And in case of monopolar, sir. In case of uh, bipolar, it will be the positive and the negative terminals. In case of uh, monopolar, it will be the ground return path. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, in the process of converting at the converting substation, right? Yes, yes, yes. How we can filter the how we can filter the harmonic, sir? Uh, mainly the ripples in the DC can be filtered out by using a, a inductor in series with the current. Hmm. And also, uh. That's it, sir. By using an inductor and a capacitive uh, configuration, LC circuits and L circuits. LC and the L circuits. Okay. Uh, what is multi-modular converter? Sorry, sir. I don't know. <clears throat> okay any figure uh, any example of hvd system that uh, any line in the india uh, sir there is a line actually at the chikarnak area that is present in the seven seven sister state that in northeastern states hmm uh, that's it sir good and good also good. there are so there good. are many uh, i think there is a hvdc line in the south also near uh, telangana Hmm. I don't know exactly where it goes from and to, but yes, I have seen one. Okay, so does this HVDC systems comes under the smart grid mission? 
smart grid uh, you mean the uh, the overall grid sir central grid no no the smart grid it is different from the normal grid mm, i think uh, it is considered into the normal grid we need to talk about the meter and the smart meter does the, both are the same or different sir uh, coming to the smart meter it will be uh, able to calculate the net value of the power i mean energy through it whereas coming to the normal meter it will be uh, just calculating the input uh, power into it right so what is meant to be as a smart grid smart grid in the sense you know uh, we can uh, just integrate it with the normal grid like uh, renewable sources so that uh, the overall uh, overall system becomes a uh, smart i mean uh, yes yeah, smart does it the thing related with the digital communication sorry sir digital communication or the two way communication it is implementing the smart grid sorry sir i don't have any idea i mean uh, we can use we can use the smart grid like uh, for calculating the net power i mean if we integrate the solar system with that i mean solar uh, panels with that uh, and also the wind energy and all then it will become a smart grid but uh, bidirectional communication i think uh i think it is possible by adding some more equipment what is digital, what is national smart grid mission sorry sir what is national smart grid mission sorry sir i don't know Wait. <clears throat> in the power scenario of india how much install capacity in the term of electrical energy Mm, sir uh i think it would be around uh, 20 to 30 gigawatts sorry 20 to 30 gigawatts i guess 20 to 30 yes <clears throat> okay so if i say that okay so in the like it like uh, the many psu that is working on the renewable energy sector like hpcl yes. working on the wind and the solar yes so any yes. idea any any project that has been initiated sir actually uh, hpcl is uh, working on its uh, green energy sector in the in terms of uh, you know building a hydrogen plant i think Mm -hmm. and also uh, there is a solar park i don't know the exact location there is a solar park for that okay can you little bit explain about the what is the capacity the hydrogen and this solar park sorry sir i forgot mm -hmm. and i haven't gone through that mm. <clears throat> okay if i say uh, that that from the consumer side uh, you have to improve the load factor of the of the system right okay from the consumer side if you are the consumer yes 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 how you how you, how you can improve the load factor of this particular system you mean load factor sir yeah load factor sir uh, load factor is nothing but the uh, average demand by maximum demand that is uh, mm -hmm. by uh, by increasing the use of an equipment particular equipment we can increase the load factor in an example uh, i mean by turning on an equipment if we turn on the equipment for a more more time in a particular day Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, adding more load into the grid i think it would uh, increase the load factor okay. 
what is the reserve capacity sir reserve capacity is like uh, for a pl- uh, plant there is some capacity the maximum capacity that it can supply reserve capacity is like uh, the plant capacity minus maximum demand that is on the plant hmm that is what we call like as if, reserve capacity sir hmm okay so if i if i call that uh, about the scheduling right if i say that particular schedule scheduling system has been generated like the economical scheduling okay. yes 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 schedule scheduling so what is this economical scheduling and how this is being made out sir uh, by the term i guess uh, economical scheduling is like uh, using a particular power plant uh, for the base load and as well as peak load like uh, for the base load uh, using a like a coal power plant it would be more efficient for the peak load the less efficient power plants are used okay <clears throat> what is what, what is earth leakage circuit breaker sorry sir earth leakage circuit breaker elcb earth leakage circuit breaker uh, sir it is used for the protection of the operator if there is any uh, leakage in the equipment then uh, it it will detect that okay where where it is being used sir normally uh, like uh, in small equipment like uh, repair things and all it is used it is generally used for uh, protection of the operator like technician if i compare with the elcb right yes uh, with the hrc fuse high rupture capacity fuse yes so how did uh, how these two things are related uh, interrelated sir uh, i think elcb uh, works on a less rating whereas the hrc fuse uh, works for the more rating okay uh, any reason behind this uh generally the leakage current will be less compared to the main currents okay. okay last question sir uh, okay have you listened the term residual current device residual current device hmm no sir i haven't okay when we talk about the fault okay yes uh, like the like the short circuit fault open circuit fault right? yes 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 okay. so in the case of uh, our voltage fault right okay. what what are the reasons what are the reasons of having this over voltage fault sir uh, over voltage uh, might be due to the surges in the uh, in the system I mean, and over current fault, sir. And over current fault, sir. Uh, over current is like uh, we can uh, we can justify it as like uh, you know even through the lightning it will be considered as a over current fault, and also the uh, uh, shunt faults that are L L G these are uh, called as a uh, uh, over current faults. And over load fault. overload fault uh, when the load draws more than the rated current it will be called as overload fault okay then what is the basic difference between overload and over current sir uh, overload it's uh, you know uh, by, as it is drawn by the equipment it will be uh, not of that much uh, higher value but uh, regarding this uh, over current it will be of higher value Okay, because okay, I'm because uh, your snap is over. I'm giving you some feedback. Yes, yes. Okay. Hey, apart from the, apart from the technical thing in the power system, yes, there's a more like like the like the current affair in the term of uh, what is going on. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. When I'm when I'm, when I'm talking about HPCL. Okay. Yes, sir. When I'm talking HPCL, there are many projects uh, in the sector of renewable energy. Yes, this yes. smart grid mission. This smart grid mission 
a smart grid is nothing but is a digital two way communication okay okay where the consumer is also contributing something something to the grid okay. yes yes like yes. combination of renewable and non renewable yes okay. yes so have the have the data about this and uh, and the question that you have answered about the total install capacity it is 30 gigawatt it is not 30 Yes, it is approximately 400 gigawatt okay the total power of the uh, india hmm yeah install capacity okay okay see okay. and uh, anything else i need to improve in the core side sir like uh, technical side the yeah, core side it, it is fine but uh, yeah core side something little with the type of the circuit breaker apart from okay. the yeah like the rcb ELCB, okay, RCB, okay, right. Uh, and apart from all the things, all the apart from this, all things are fine. Okay. Okay. So I need to improve the current affairs and also the safety measures, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir.